We have arrived. This is Route 941, brought to you by the world's greatest shoe store, Green Lee Shoe. This is Dennis. Glad you're riding shotgun with me as we travel our region to find the best in local country music. All right, this week on Route 941, we're headed to the upper region of the Mighty Mirror Machine to visit with Josh Norad in Boys Town. Now, Josh is a guy that's been nominated for six Music Envy Awards, including Country Artist of the Year. He was named the winner of the Nationwide Country Liberty Cover Contest, and that landed him a performance spot at Cavendish Beach Music Festival. Josh Norad, welcome to Route 941 on Country 94. Then it's my absolute pleasure to be here with you tonight man it's so great to finally connect you've been across the country and back a a couple of times and we've been messaging back and forth for a while so this is awesome really glad to be able to talk with you here tonight yes definitely josh i just gotta say your new single to the wind wow what a great song you've got there it feels just like an anthem you know you know what that's totally what i really love about a song is is an anthemic presence, something that really grabs a hold of you and gives you something that you can really connect with, you know, <laughs> maybe I'm getting a little deeper, like a soul connection, like a, an anthem for your soul, you know, something that, that really takes you right to your roots. And uh, when I first heard that song, I was just like, wow, man, I'm so uh, honored to have a chance to, to record this. And I was listening to the song and reading the lyrics, and it's all about throwing caution to the wind, you know, take, taking that step, just going out and, and just doing it. And being the fact that it feels like an anthem, it's just the, the kind of song that it just kind of gives you that, that push that you might need in order to maybe make a decision or or just get the courage up and, and get ready to, to, as Nike would say, just do it. Yes, yes, for sure, man. And sometimes that's all it takes is just a little push. You know, one uh, thing I was talking with some people this week about was uh, don't wait for motivation because it may never come. Just take that step and do it. So good. I mean, it, it really is great. You were mentioning about uh, about getting deeper of the fact that it felt like an anthem. They really do have that feel. And when you do connect with it, like you said, wow, there's almost a spiritual feel to it. Yeah. And we're born and raised like out here, you know, along the Miramichi River. And every thread of that song was something I could connect with and line back to a, a point in my life. You know, the lake or the fire or ripping down the dirt road, you know. So in a way, it, it, it is. It's your it's your soul. It's really, it's a spiritual thing because it's grabbing at so many different parts of who you really are and, and your history and your past and, 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 you know, even dreams for your future and uh, putting that all into one thing and you're, you're listening to that, singing along to that and you and I both know what music can do, you know, to to listen to a song and and feel it right absolutely and that's the whole thing a feeling like you're you're connected to a song let's let's use the nitty-gritty dirt band for example fishing in the dark how many people do you know of that just just kind of go ballistic when they hear that song right yeah it every night you know you you start with those chords and everybody hears that come and they're like yeah and they run to it and they sing right along and, yep. and it's it's just because of exactly what you were saying they identify with it they feel it and it just kind of gets in your soul and, and it brings something out of you mm, totally tell me how to the wind came to be well it first started out with a friend of mine named doug folk and he was uh doing some writing and stuff and him and i connected and he said take a listen to these songs and i listened through and as soon as i heard that song you know it was just i was like that's it it really hit me i got like you know chills and the whole bit (laughs) i heard that song and i was like man doug like i'd love to do this song so it was written by doug Falcons and James Hop, and then through connections that were made earlier, Jason Berry, who you, I'm sure you know of, an amazing producer. Lead guitar player in Dean Brody's band as well. Yeah, perfect guy all around, and uh, came on board with me, and we were both very excited to work together. We've been talking about it for a long time. He was able to pull in Dean Brody's guys on the song, so we recorded it. Dean Brody's band featured on the song, and that's what we got. We got To The Wind, man, and I was so honored to have that opportunity to work with every one of those guys just so glad so happy about it well i mean jason's just got such a magical ear i mean he does most of the producing on dean brody's stuff anyway and and you can hear that same polish and that same golden touch that he has this song you could sit down with one guitar and have this song sound just as good as it does on the recording you know i really like taking songs as a lot of people i'm sure do and just uh putting them out there acoustically you know and just seeing what you can do with that but it's like you just said when i sit down and play that song by myself it i can still feel it it translates well that's perfect it's got to start with a song 
Jason's been doing some really great work with incredible people right here in along the Maritimes. How did you actually come to meet Jason? You know, it was a complete fluke. Music New Brunswick had a opportunity where you could win 15 minutes sit down with Jason. So, you know, I'm like thinking, okay, I, I got to get in on this. So I managed to get the opportunity and uh, I went in there with this little Bluetooth speaker and about three songs I've been working on. And I sit down with it. I'm like, dude, what do you think? <laughs> and, he, and he liked the stuff. And we just kind of kept in contact over uh, over the course of a couple of years. Finally, all roads met up and we, uh, we managed needs to pull something off and uh we're looking at doing it again oh that's great see i was just going to ask you if you had any plans for new music we're basically in the process of deciding which route to take with it all definitely new music in the works covid really kicked everybody's butt it's been a struggle to get in the studio and and uh struggle to kind of work on things and uh but i've really taken that time to to write and co-write and prepare prepare for when this opens back up prepare for for when we can really put the pedal all the way down and uh, I really want to come back strong and I think that it it's really maybe created a resilience in everybody to say let's give it all we got just gonna cherish it yeah and not waste right. an opportunity right. right yeah now that we're seeing yeah. the light at the end of the tunnel Josh do you have any performances that you're lining up you know I actually just had an amazing trip home from Saskatchewan I work on a grain farm out there on the trip home I managed to do two shows in Saskatoon. I did a couple in Ontario and a festival in Manitoba. And most of these were just last minute. I'm on the road. I see a sign for a festival. I send in my info and they're like, yep, we'll have you tomorrow night. (laughs) (laughs) And and then another one at uh, Signal Brewery in uh, Belleville, Ontario. Same kind of idea. And um, things were just working out so great. So I nailed down a few shows like that on the way home, which was amazing. And now I'm pumped to do more shows looking forward for the summer really i'm so focused right now on uh recording and different things that's kind of where my focus is at right now but i would never turn down a chance to perform well tell me about some of those shows that you lined up as you were driving home how did they go it was amazing to be able to just meet people from all over who are doing it who are in the same headspace and uh working on music passionate about music another cool thing is just the last minute of it all you know there's a certain energy in last minute manitoba i managed to uh send in my info and then this is a funny one actually signal brewery in belleville ontario i called him up and i'm like hey man i'm I'm rolling through i'm on my way home from saskatchewan if you have an opening i would love to have a chance to perform so he said send me your stuff he loved it man he got back to me he said we have covid restrictions but there's this rock in the middle of the river i saw you yeah, post so, that so i'm like a rock he's like yeah he said there's a rock out there so if we get some battery powered speakers we can wade you across the river and you can play in on top of this rock in the middle of the river and we'll point the speakers at the patio and i'm like dude this sounds too much like something we would do at home like i'm in let's do this thing very unique so uh we get there and of course we grabbed all the gear and waded across the river and set up on this rock man it went amazing it was just such a great time and such great people and uh it was it was so great to be back out performing again that is fantastic well josh i am so excited to play your new single for everybody here on country 94 and i know that they're going to love it so uh josh norad thanks so much for taking the time to chat with me here on route 941 on country 94 thank you so much dennis you can stay up to date with josh norad and all of his new music and potential dates that are coming up just go to josh norad Here is Josh Norad with his latest single. This is To The Wind on Country 94. Her daddy thinks she's staying with a friend He'd never guess we're rolling out of town Driving double time straight down this dusty road Trying to make the lake before that sun goes down My heart's racing faster
as the daylight fades away With the sunset glow reflecting on your face It's a shame to see the water stand so still Baby, let's ditch these clothes I'll race you to the left Thanks for riding with me as we check our region to find the best in local, original country music. Come back again next week and I'll feature another artist. Route 941 is brought to you by the world's greatest shoe store, Greenlee Shoe and Country 94.